does solar energy perform in our Midwestern climate? We all know that we get more sunlight in the summer than the winter. Measured by both the number of hours of exposure and intensity, technically the density of sunlight, how much more sunlight do we typically get in July compared to January? 25% more? 50% more? 75% more? 100% more? The answer is 100% more. And in some places in Wisconsin, it more than doubles between January and July. Let's explore solar energy in our climate. In the dead of winter, when the sun is spending more of its time warming up the southern hemisphere, our days are shorter and typically colder. Shorter exposure of less intense sunlight means the PV systems generate fewer kilowatts of electricity in a day. Fortunately, some solar panels can rotate and change their angle to get the most direct sunlight. These single access or dual access trackers simply adjust the angle for the time of year to maximize output. This typically means the panels need to shift about 25 degrees between winter and summer. Some systems use solar trackers that continually adjust solar panels' angles throughout the day. So, summer is the best season, right? Yes and no. Surprisingly, PV systems are more efficient in cooler weather. When temperatures hit the upper 80s, they become less efficient at generating electricity. But higher temperatures typically mean longer exposure to the sun, too. In addition, particulate matter, like dust or pollen in the atmosphere, can also negatively affect their efficiency, similar to snow. However, PV systems will continue to work during a light snowfall. Yet if there's heavy snow or rain, solar cells will starve for sunlight. Plus, if snow accumulates on the PV systems, they won't work even when the sun's out. However, on the uh, bright and sunny side, melting snow can clean the PV systems, making them more efficient. And if there's snow on the ground reflecting the sun, well, PVs can really crank out the electricity. We may not be Arizona, whose Januaries are like our Julys when it comes to the amount of time and density of sunlight, but Alliant Energy continues to add more of its own solar facilities and help customers get the most out of their solar power systems in our climate. It's a sunny forecast for sure.